In this video, we'll talk about one of the most effective quick fixes for when your WordPress website is hacked. The fix involves replacing files in the root folder that contain information about your site, but do not directly pertain to its content. It may seem like a technical process, but it's straightforward and should remove the error without altering the content of your site. All other possible measures that can be taken in this situation are mentioned in guides under this video. We've also linked to articles that might help you to prevent hacks in the first place by improving your site security. A WordPress website can be hacked in various ways, but most commonly, it happens when WordPress's default files become infected. When this happens, you might see one of the following. A blank page. A 500 error page. A page with the message that says, this site is experiencing technical difficulties. Or, there has been a critical error on this website. Before you begin, make sure that you generate a full backup of your website. If you've created your WordPress site using the Softaculous script installer, feel free to refer to the guide under this video. Also, there are other guides on how to create a backup for a website that was created manually. Once the backup is complete, try replacing all the default files with fresh ones. For this, you will need a fresh WordPress installation. Start by removing the core files from your current WordPress installation. You'll find these in the root folder of your hacked site. We'll show you the list of the core files in question once we get to the File Manager menu in cPanel. To get the fresh default WordPress files you need for the replacement, you'll need to install a fresh WordPress website to a random subdirectory of your website. You can do this with the help of Softaculous Apps Installer. Located in the Exclusive for Namecheap Customers section of the main cPanel menu. At this point, find the WordPress Manager tab at the top of the Softaculous menu and click it. It is important to create an installation of the same version of your website. Never mix the files of different versions, as it will most likely affect your website's functionality. Find out which WordPress version your website uses by pressing the downward arrow here. You'll see the release number of your WordPress installation in the version section. Additionally, feel free to double-check the version of your website via the eversion.php file that is placed in the WP Includes folder. For this, return to the main cPanel menu and navigate to File Manager. At that point, access the root folder of your website, click the WP Includes folder, and then open the version.php file. Here, you should find the WP underscore version equals line. Once you know which WordPress release you need, let's proceed with a fresh installation to your website subdirectory. So, let's move back to the WordPress Manager menu in Softaculous and click Install. Make sure the right domain name is selected. After that, type in your subdirectory name to the In Directory field. We'll use Fix as an example name here. Next, choose the same WordPress version in the drop-down list as the one used in your hacked website. Then, scroll down the page and click Install. Give it some time to finish. When the fresh WordPress installation has been set up, you'll see the following page. Now, let's move to the root folder of your website. You can access it via cPanel with the help of File Manager. There's a guide under this video on how to locate it in your cPanel account. So, move to the root folder of your website. If the content you're uploading is for the main domain, navigate to the public underscore HTML directory. If you are looking for the root folder of an add-on domain, you can double-check its name via the Domain cPanel menu in the Document Root column. Next, look through the website files to locate the folder for the subdirectory for which you have just created a fresh WordPress installation and access that folder. To view hidden system files, such as htaccess or others, click Settings in the top right corner. In the following pop-up window, check the Show Hidden Files option and click Save. Now, all the system files are visible. Afterward, select the htaccess wpconfig.php files and wp-content folder of the newly created installation and then remove them. These are the files responsible for the content and performance of your website, they are not the default files. You can delete them by clicking the corresponding button from the toolbar above. You will see another pop-up window. It's better not to empty the trash, so there will be an opportunity to restore the removed files from the .trash folder in case you accidentally delete some files. Press the Confirm button to proceed. 
Finally, you have the list of all the default WordPress files you need to replace. So, now we need to move back to the root folder of your hacked website by clicking up one level in the toolbar above. Next, press the control button on your keyboard and select the same files that are left in the root folder of your fresh WordPress installation. It should be the following files and folders that are shown on the screen. As soon as all the default WordPress files are selected, click delete and confirm the action. Make sure that the htaccess, wp-config files, and wp-content folder are present in the root folder of your hacked website. Then, move to the root folder of the fresh WordPress installation. It is called the same as you named it while installing a fresh WP installation in Softaculous. Move all the files from there to the root folder of your hacked website. To do this, click Select All and Move. Another pop-up window will appear. You need to enter the path to your website's root folder. For this, remove the part of the file name after the slash which corresponds to your new installation name. Once done, click Move Files. You did it! Check your website to confirm it's working. If it isn't working as expected, please check other solutions mentioned in the guide under this video. Also, remember to remove the fresh WordPress installation for your website subdirectory via Softaculous Apps Installer, as you don't need it anymore. There is a guide under this video on how to work with scripts in Softaculous. You have successfully replaced all the default files of your hacked WordPress website. Thank you for watching. Do not hesitate to post your questions under this video. Also, check out our knowledge base at namecheap.com for more tips and support.